You are watching Jimadism and you should be most welcome back to Satisfactory. This time I am going to show you how to set up a 60 concrete um, piles per minute. That's a concrete every second. Yeah, in early game. So basically some pretty decent and early heavy concrete production. So before that I want to show you something here. I have unlocked both jump pads and uh, resource sync bonus program. This gives us customization and it gives us, um, well, the awesome sync. And why is this important? Well, I'm going to show you. And I set up this little jump pad facility here. You need to be really careful when we use the jump pad so that you don't accidentally hurt yourself. But if you're careful, you can set them up in a safe way, so they're safe and usable. So basically, we have a lot of copper production here. We set up our efficient copper factory, and it's really good. It's just that we don't need all these resources just sitting around here. No. So, what I've done is I've set up an awesome sink. And the awesome sink is just basically connected up to this copper production. And I calculated that if I have a merger here and I have a Mark II belt, it will slowly, slowly, slowly deplete the containers. And if I have a Mark, be a Mark I belt, they will slowly, slowly, slowly uh, fill up these containers. While we can do some smarter solutions in the future, this is a good mill way. And this gives us a lot of like coupons. It's it's just been sitting around there uh, when I've been doing other stuff. Very handy. So uh, about that, why do we want extra concrete production? Well, because uh, we can put that into the awesome sink too, and that's a good way to generate some early tickets too. In any case, when we have unlocked the bonus program with color cartridges, we can click um, the X key and we can get to the customizer here. And we can do like all sorts of paints and stuff. So that's that's pretty cool. And if we want to change the paint of all our structures, we need to go to change the defaults. Uh, I've just been experimenting around here with some different parts to kind of find a new uh, color pattern I like before I set that to, um, well, the default one. So here we are to set up our concrete manufacturing. And the little trick behind to do this early in game is that we actually need to have two or three concrete sources. So basically, we will need three normal concrete deposits, and fortunately, the concrete deposits usually spawn a couple uh, bunch together in a close vicinity. So like we have one here, one here, and one over there. Uh, fortunately, one of these are pure, and the other one is normal. What we need is 60 plus 60 plus 60, and in this case I have 120 plus 60, since, well, that's how they work. I already explained that in earlier videos, so if you want, if something isn't clear, please check the other previous videos in the tutorial, because I try to make each video a little bit shorter than the previous one. So, we will need to begin with spawning two miners. Now, this is the normal one. It's good to keep track which one is the normal and which one is the other one. It's hard to see sometimes. You'll need to pick away this thing. There we go. Like that. And the other one as well. Very nice. To produce the concrete we need, we will need four constructors and four and this is because each of these require 45. Because in this early stages of the game we only have access to conveyor belts mark 2 which provide us with 120 resources per minute. So we'll need to divide this up in a smart little way in order for this to work. And the easiest way to do it is just to line them up from different directions and make them meet in the middle. So we should basically do like this. We'll need some kind of input in the first one. So we use a splitter. We need to put over some resources to the next one. So we'll use another splitter. And since, it, since it's 120 per minute, we will need to put a splitter in the last one too, but we can't really do that because of course the 121 can't cover for all of the 45. 
So the 45, that's 180. So, of course, it won't be enough. And, uh, like, three of these would require 145 um, limestone per minute. So, for this thing that's meeting in the middle, we actually need to use a merger. Like that. Pretty handy. And, of course, a splitter on this previous one. Just like that. Alright, great. Now we can just connect this up to each of the machines. It is enough with mark one volts and from this miner we require 120 of course and to make straight edges we'll need to first uh, turn it around like that then we'll have one and two and that should be a 90 degree return very nice connect it up there and since this is uh, our capacity we'll just line it up like that and for this one it is uh, sufficient with mark one since this one goes at 60 anyways so it's it's kind of limited and there we go nice so we can walk under it and we now have a splitter going there and there and mergers and now it should be perfectly set up so Let's bring in some electricity here. And there we go. Excellent. So we have some pretty nice connections up there. And now it should indeed start spinning up. And this one too. And there it goes down. Isn't that quite nice? Now we can basically inspect how the limestone is going up here. We can see what we're doing here. Haven't reached full capacity yet. So in the beginning, all of these production lines will not be perfectly um, efficient like that. They will have some problem. It will take a little bit of time for them to be 100%. This one, of course, gets materials all the time, so it is efficient. All the time which is nice this one is not it's popping up and down a little bit because it's not getting really like enough since we are getting a split 60 line here too you can see this machine and this machine that one and that one is hogging up most of the limestone so before this stack is full which may take half an hour or something like that it will not be perfectly efficient but when this and this are full it will automatically start to overflow to the other constructor because we've made the perfect calculation that it is 100% efficient um, it will eventually be 100% efficient but we'll need to wait for a little bit before that happens which is right about very much soon you can see already over here this one is filled up it does get materials faster than it produces so the belt stops there and that means that the other ones will get more we'll just have to wait a little bit for it to uh, stack up here too and this one will get enough too we'll just need to pick up the output and merge them up and it's of course sufficient to use mark one belts because the final output production oh no, is 60 per minute, like that. So, here we have our output. We can connect up to a container or anything, or just to an awesome sink, or however we want to do. And there we have it. We should now have a perfectly efficient 60 concrete per minute production. And it should have balanced itself out now, too. We can see they are glowing green all the time, not... Um, oh, yeah, a little bit. Okay, it's still balancing out a little bit. But there we go. So if you've done the calculations correctly, it should be perfectly balanced and perfectly efficient after just balancing out a little bit. Now, we can have some kind of load balancers and... Uh, 
um, divide up the concrete in other ways or, or the limestone in other ways to get and me like a more even distribution but do that will make uh, stuff a lot more messy and it's mostly a waste of time because as I said it balances it balances itself out after a while anyways well hopefully you enjoyed the little peach palette I came up with so that's like the uh, it's just the X menu here. You can just set up whatever colors you want. You can try some new stuff, and the ones that are default, uh, you'll change everything you place with default. Pretty handy. In any case, hope you enjoyed this little perfect concrete production tutorial. And uh, if you like to see some more tips, you should definitely check out the episodes already produced in the playlist. I think next time we we'll do some um, more advanced iron assembly. So, basically some rotors, some uh, molar frames and some reinforced plates and stuff like that. So, see you next time. This is your host Jim Desm. We're signing out.